Good evening and welcome to Friday Night Prayer. I hope this has been an okay week for you and that you are well and that those who you love are well. I have um, some prayers to share tonight from the Northumbria community and I'm, I'm going to use a couple of different things tonight. I'm going to use some prayers for coming together as a community and for our shared stories and our shared lives as a community and then some prayers for being separated from those who we love as many of us are right now but before we start i'm going to light a candle um i think when i was doing the advent path prayers i um I found that lighting the candles during the service was, um, it it just felt right, and so I I'm gonna light the candle tonight. We welcome you, Spirit of God, you who seek our company and choose to make yourself known to us. We are grateful for your many blessings, including bringing us together at this time in this place. We ask that you would use this time to challenge us to encourage us, to change us, that we may continue to grow and be transformed and in this process find hope to offer the world around us. In our conversations and our sharing, in our eating, resting, learning and laughing, May we notice you, find you, follow you, and offer you. Amen. On separation from our loved ones. Give them peace to know that we are unharmed. Give them hope to know that we will return. Give them patience to wait and courage to endure the waiting. Give them strength so that they will not weary. Nothing can fill the gap when we are away from those we love and it would be wrong to try and find anything. We must simply hold out and win through. That sounds very hard at first, but at the same time it is a great consolation since leaving the gap unfilled preserves the bond between us. It is nonsense to say that God fills the gap. God does not fill it, but keeps it empty so that our communion with another may be kept alive, even at the cost of pain. Circle our dear ones, Lord. Keep comfort near and discouragement afar. Keep peace within and turmoil out. Circle our dear ones, Lord. Keep protection near and danger afar. Circle our dear ones, Lord. Keep hope within. Keep despair 
without. Circle our dear ones, Lord. Keep light near and darkness afar. Circle our dear ones, Lord. Keep peace within and anxiety without. The eternal Father, Son and Holy Spirit shield our dear ones on every side. Amen. All that I love into your keeping, all that I care for into your care. Be with us by day, be with us by night, and as dark closes the eyelids with sleep, may I waken in the peace of a new day. Amen. The thing that's been on my mind today is loneliness and how with the continued lockdown, how many people must be feeling that loneliness or know someone else who is. I'm sure that I've said before that we're really lucky here. There's, there's five of us in the house plus all the animals and my husband and I are both doing the jobs that we normally do. We are spending our entire day with, with other people and it must be incredibly difficult for those who are working from home or who live alone or even if they are going out and working a busy job, going home to an empty house and it must be a very strange experience and many people just aren't built for being alone. I um, I quite value my alone time during the day but in the evening if I'm the only one here I don't like it at all and I always think of myself as being quite a solitary person and so this week I would like to pray for anyone who is feeling that loneliness, who is sad for the, the lack of people who needs that social contact and I would pray for, for each of us whether we're lonely or ourselves or, or just thinking about other people we know who may be lonely that we might think of ways in which we can reach out and um, and just make make connections with people. I was looking at some stuff today, just trying to find some ad advice and um, just the best things that that we can do ourselves or do for others. And and the biggest thing is is making connections and. Just spending a few minutes to send someone a message and um, and just say, hey, I'm thinking about you. Or pick up a phone or some um, electronic face-to-face -face contact, FaceTime or something. Or um, for ourselves, if we're the ones feeling lonely, just finding a way of making those connections, of thinking about, the things that we are passionate about and the things that we miss and maybe looking for an online community we can connect with who might make us feel a little bit less alone in all of this. And as the, the numbers of COVID rise in our community, I'm sure that more of us are knowing people who are or have been unwell and so I would pray for them this evening as well and for 
all those who are in hospital, for those who have died, for those of us who are grieving, and for those of us who are just feeling a bit heart sick from everything, from 10 months of all of this. And I pray for, for my friends, for the communities I'm part of. And I just pray that we're all of us getting through this okay. And I'll be here again next week. Night prayer will continue for as long as it needs to, as long as people find value in it, which I hope you do. So please take care, continue to look after yourselves and those who are dear to you. If there are ways in which you can contribute to your own communities, whether through um, volunteering in some way um, online or um, donating to food banks, anything that you can do that benefits your your own little communities out there, um, whether it's phoning someone you know, reaching out to elderly neighbours, anything. Anything you can do, any small thing, because something that may, may seem small to us might actually be, be a huge deal to other people. So yeah, I'll see you next week. Take care. Good night.